All right, we're going to be um, <clears throat> we're going to be looking at uh, grabs and holds, all sorts of various grabs and holds. A lot of you have, may have done this with, a little bit of me with before. Uh, we're going to start with um, just some pre-grabs. Again, better not to be grabbed than uh, having someone ho holding on to you and getting leverage off you, pulling you around uh, either by your hair, your neck, your clothing, your limbs, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me, the type of uh, grab we're going to look at first is we're dealing with, hey, don't come near me, he grab you by the wrist. All right, we don't want to let them grab you. Now, it can be a grab by the wrist, it can be grabbed by the wrist. Um, this type of grab will generally happen mostly to a woman where a man will have his limb pulled down so they can, they can use a punch from this position. All right, they can use a punch where a woman will probably be grabbed and they can be also, also be struck but usually dragged to, a, dragged to somewhere. They usually get dragged or just try to be controlled. Okay, so we're going to look at both. First of all, as soon as the person goes to grab, you're going to, you're going to uh, use your paksal. Okay, so you're here. As soon as you see the hand coming towards you, you don't want to let the hand grab you, obviously. Okay, now, <clears throat> when the hand, you can lap sal from the wusa. We'll do it with the lap sal from the wusa because rather than try to get around that hand, we're going to use the rear hand to defend. Um, we're going to use, just come over here a little bit more, and Kristen, just come over here a bit so you can see on this angle. Um, you're going to flick the eye. We're going to go back to the flick or the, 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 the blade, um, the side palm. Okay, so, so you're just here, here, and then just cover or push. It's up to you if you like to do either. Uh, always good to get a, the person away from you. So it's stay away stance. This is your stay away stance. You don't have to go into your traditional stance. It's like, you know, because you usually start with a verbal, some type of verbal interaction that escalates or something. Okay, sometimes you get attacked from behind. It's a different situation. We'll look at that a little bit down the track. Okay, so you're here, hit. If you capture this arm, you cover here. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. You're here. All right. You'll grab a partner, group of three. Just do this action. Just like your roll punch. The elbow's out now, and you're using either the pick, the side, the court, court type, the edge of your finger, or the side of your palm. <coughs> That's it, yeah. Just a roll wang jung. All right, because this is the action you're applying when the person tries to grab you. All right, except that you use a lap sal. So, John, just come over. If you're here, this hand is coming on top. You're blocking on top. This hand, climb on top. And you note in the footwork, I change my side neutral. Two steps. One, two. One, two. Okay, try again. All right, some of you guys are getting a bit confused, be it cross or parallel. It shouldn't really matter at all. Um, if it's parallel, you're using your rear hand. If you're using parallel movement, it's a rear hand strike. If it's cross arm, it's the leading hand that does the block. He can grab all he wants. All right. If he's defending this, then you'll clear this. All right, okay. Try a few with your hands down. So if he comes over to grab me by the hand. Whatever hand, whatever hand that you're attack, excuse me, whatever hand he's grabbing for, you attack with the other hand and move away, just like we did the other day against the knife. Okay, if it's the other hand, yeah. Okay, this is some good grab. So look, I just showed you with the person grab, the webbing of the thumb becomes the weakness. So you're like in Selim Tower, you bring your hand back on the webbing. If it's elbows out and the arm's on an angle like this, you use a bill sal or a jat sal. 
but you're using this hand at the same time. Then you're going, okay? So you won't just be going because you're wasting, an, you're, you know, you're wasting a hand. All right, so do it this side. The hand is getting broken here, okay? You can help it along if the hand hasn't come off completely. The wrist here, so you can, you, here's the, the door where they grab the hook. You can do it something like this. Okay, this way. Now the door is here. Because right, you can't do it like, you can do it through your turn. This one you can actually, if you want, you can, you can attack the thumb. But there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of bit of clash with that one. And if you're not, so you flick, then you have the door. All right. So let's start either parallel or cross grab. Don't rush your response. Think it through. Take your time. Balance, technique, position. All right. We're going to look at the double grab. Okay. Now. You're going to, we're going to do the same response for both. There's a couple of different ways you can apply uh, a defense against this. We're just going to, if they're pulling your turn. Now watch the grab. I take it through the webbing. Or, this, I'm going to do it the other way now. I take, if he pulls, I take it through the webbing. All right. Okay. Take it through the webbing. Your elbow goes over the top of his wrist. Yeah, well, I'm getting leverage there. Now, it's either pull or push. If he pushes me, same thing. I T-step. If he pulls me, I turn and step into him. Okay. Or here. Yep. Okay, so that's it doing it down here. No different. If he pulls me, If he pushes me, okay. So it, just like you're doing the, in the form when you're doing this, when you're doing this movement, or here, you can clear this now. Cover. Clear. Whatever hand he's, he's let go, okay, hit, you clear, turn him side on, control the, the blind side. Okay, try this. Let's look at the uh, shoulder grab. Shoulder grab. Okay, now, straight away, you'll break the position. You can use a vertical elbow or the straight strike here. Now, I'm moving here. This is good because if he does strike, you're covering yourself. All right, you hit. Okay, now to get rid of this, if he hasn't let go at all, just bring your hand here to the little finger. I can tell you, that if John's holding on to you and you put your finger inside there, he's already not wanting to let go. Now, all I'm doing, do this side, is I'm putting my hand and grabbing the little finger. So, make a fist. I'm putting here. In like that. All right. Now, as I do this movement, hit, hit, I can just step. Even if he wants to hold on, I can break the distance. So I'm just changing position here to get behind. All right. There's all sorts of stuff you can do from here, but really just try to get them away from you and go. All right. So one more time. Here. Now, as I step, I use my weight and I protect myself, cover your side of your temple, but don't leave a space here. Don't leave a space between your head and you want to actually run your hand across the side of your head and bring it up behind here. Yeah, because you, if there's space and it hits your arm, it can hit into your face still and off balance you and all sorts of things can happen. So you step, hit, 
okay you can chop strike from this position if you if you haven't made contact with the strike if you punch you can hit from here now come back to here all right from here yeah, yeah. okay from this one you're know, here you can bring it back underneath this way yeah yeah it's automatically there's a lot of pressure there yeah okay <laughs> Does anyone want to ask me about a hold or a grab that they had trouble getting out of? And rear, 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 rear naked choke is always one of the hardest. Again, as soon as you get the rear, that someone's trying to put it on, you don't want to let them put it on. Now, as soon as you, I don't know if you saw, go, take it away, take it away. He's got to put it on. Mm. All right, you want to go. Now, what I'm doing is controlling his wrist as quickly as possible. Whenever the hand comes over your turn, you turn with the grab, all right, and you, hello sailor, all right, okay, as, as he come, turn your body, because if you start squeezing here, you got more time than if you start squeezing across the front of your larynx, that would take much, very limited amount of force to crush your larynx there, but you only, so you have about one, one and a half seconds for him to crush your larynx there, you only have about three seconds here before he can make you pass out because it's only carotid. But you have longer time. <laughs> what if, what, what if he get, he's got you there? If he's got you there, you've got to yeah. try to attack pressure point. All right, you have to. Again, control the wrist if you possibly can. But look, if he's starting to get this on, he's already a choke right here, a, sl a, a sleeve choke you can do here. But I want to try to, he's going to not, if I can get a handful there, um, he's going to be not thinking so much about here. All right. If he's grabbing here and I can get this shoulder out, then I can get in here. If I can get the opposite shoulder out. So it might mean, because what often happens is they try to grab and pull you back. So you step behind, get leverage. All right. You can be hitting here, hitting here, hitting here. Okay. But again, it, people can put it on really quick. As soon as you see the arm come across, whichever arm it comes across, turn, turn the way and try to support yourself. Try to get leverage. All right, so it's like a rear headlock. It's like there's someone coming up behind like this to get the headlock. All right, okay. Yeah, they want to do, it's quite a, you know, they have to get in here and then they're screwed. Yeah. It, once it goes on, it's horrible. So, first thing he wants to do, as soon as he sees this hand, turn your head. Keep your chin down, yeah. Now it's very hard for me to get it on. He's just changed the whole dynamic of it. All right, so he wanted to get this shoulder out. Yeah, get leverage and get opening. Yeah, don't put your hand here. Put your hand in the face so you have that opening. Okay. <laughs> All right, you punch your own hand there. All right, All right. so the, the headlock where they pull you down is actually a, a lot easier. All right, they'll come up from beside and they'll grab you and pull you down. One, two, three. A simple, simple answer. As soon as they wrench you down, they'll usually pull you forward. Whack. So they pull you down here. You have access. Yeah. Understand? It's about you're in that position already. You've already got the leverage. As soon as you've got here, this foot behind. However, if he pulls you to ground, just go slow because I've got the mic on me, and we go to ground, what to say, I can't do this. All right? That's what I'm talking about. Anytime when that person's trying to choke you, you've got three hands. He's trying to get a choke on you, you've got a free hand here. You've got a free hand here. Yeah. Now, once you get this, then you can get something. Yeah? There you go. Yeah. All right? But you really, you don't want to be down there. You want to get up onto your feet because his buddy might come over and start stomping you. So if you shot, you, you gouge, you, you, hit, you hurt him, you push him off, you, you roll out, get out. Let's get this, John.